There, take a look behind me. You can see this building. I've been inside. The conditions are deplorable. I got a chance to speak to city officials, and they are on the job for us tonight. It's just a mess. No heat, no running water, and makeshift lights in the hallway. This is life in the Frederick Douglass apartments on Detroit's west side. Rosalind Bond heats her apartment with her oven and gets her water from busted pipes in the basement. Periodically, he'll go down and turn on the um, water, and we have to catch it in pails and, and however, we can, however we can catch it. Bond says she hasn't had heat since she moved in last March. Conditions got worse after a fire in June. Boarded up windows outside, broken doors, and busted ceilings inside. Now, squatters have taken up residence. This woman says she and her three children, including a one-year-old, moved in two weeks ago. No shelters won't take us in. I've tried them, and it's just, no, it's a no-go. It's better than being in a cold. A sign out front says the building is managed by Peace of Mind Investors, an award-winning management company it boasts because we love our residents. But residents say Peace of Mind stopped paying for trash pickup months ago. And when 7 Action News called the number on the sign, number you are trying to reach is out of service. Calls to the city have also gone unanswered because of the holidays. I made some calls today, but I guess I'm going to have to call after the um, new year because I couldn't really get anyone. I couldn't get anyone. Now, I was able to reach uh, John Roach, who is the media relations director for the city. He tells me that inspectors were at this building earlier this month. Those inspectors have issued a $1,500 fine. They've also ordered a court date for next month. And because of our report tonight, John tells me that inspectors will return to this building again tomorrow to take a look to see if these conditions are, in fact, livable. We're live in Detroit tonight. Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News.